Hey guys, how you doing? And uh, welcome back to the channel. So, those of you that have been following us last year with the race vlogs will know that we have had one or two issues with timing and pit stops. So, I've put this little timer on the wheel, which is okay. It can help me time the stationary time. But half of the radio messages back and forth between Robin and I are, how long have I got left to run in the race? When's the pit window open? When are we gonna pit? So, I spoke very nicely to Santa, put something on my Christmas list. And what we've come up with is a Pit King RT3 triple timer. Right, so the Pit King timer. What we have here is a triple timer. So this one on the wheel is a basic countdown timer, set it to a minute 30 before the race, stop in the pit lane, hit go. This is a triple timer. So on here, we can have total race time counting down. We can have time till the pit window closes. So I know the last point at which I can pit. And then we can have our 90 seconds stationary for the pit stop as well. Now, I'm obviously not gonna mount that on the wheel cause that's just getting to be a bit of a handful. But what I'm gonna do, is make up a little bracket to mount this here. So as I'm driving, it's roughly where the stereo used to be and I should be able to see it. Sorry if it's a little dark there. I'll get some lights in here for the next shot. But uh, yeah, big thanks goes to Chris Fantana of 2RM Motorsport for this. I actually saw this watching his onboards from the MX-5 at Snetterton and thought that looks like just what I need. So yeah, cheers Chris for the heads up. Cheers to uh, Santa Claus for the timer and uh, let's get it in, see how it is. So we have one decent 90 degree fold. Let me show you the next bit. Right, in the car, got the plate. So the intention is this, if I've got my folds about right, cool dear, that is made to fit, look at that. Screw there, screw there, that's done. So that's in, this is now gonna be bent out at that angle, and that will make a really nice mount for the picking timer. So, just gonna mark up where that fold needs to go, and then we'll do that now. Soon after. So that is bent, sits in there really nicely. There's a retaining screw to go there and there. That's all sorted. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a magnetic mount here to help offer this up. Ooh, dropped it. It's really be easier with two hands, wouldn't it? But, Magnetic mount, just as a bit of a test fit. And that is where that's gonna sit. Driver's eye view, timer straight at me. Easy reach, all the buttons, perfect. Slightly random little interlude to this video, but to those who don't already read it, I strongly urge you to check out Motor Racing UK magazine this month. So our very good friend, Sam McKee, is actually a regular writer for this and there's a really good article in it about going from track days into the world of racing. And it actually features an interview Sam did with me earlier in the year, which is pretty cool. It's an absolutely fascinating read, and Sam's actually got a 14-page article in here, which is really quite incredible. I mean, Sam's writing is fantastic to read as well. So I would strongly urge you to check that out. And there's a little bit of a, an interview from me in there as well. So uh, massive thanks for Sam for that. Really cool to uh, see my name in print. And uh, anyway, back to this time amount. So what I've done here is a little bit pikey. I've put a bigger screw in to carry on the, the line of it, just because those screws aren't perfectly square to the plate. I can then offer the plate in, mark the height that it's gonna sit at and offer the plate up underneath and mark the line. Now, I've done the same on this side to mark that line. Height-wise, I know I want it to sit square, so I'll mark it the same as this side. Over here, get that drilled, that'll be ready to screw in. 
There we go, screwed in. That, wow, that's absolutely solid. So, a bit of tidying up, get this in black, and that's uh, one radio blank and timer mount done. Good old bit of Halford's etch. Just, just, just as I pull the trigger, I feel a few drops of water in the air. So, I'm going to flash that off quickly with a gun. That'll do, quick second coat. Now, of course, everyone's favourite, Halfords sat in black. Right, well that is now painted. So before I stick the Velcro on, which is how I'm gonna attach it to the bracket, I'm actually gonna let that dry overnight, so that'll probably be tomorrow now. Sorry if you guys have got a bit of background noise on the go. My amazing LED lights, one of them buzzes. Now, if I press it, it stops. And then it comes back. I know there are any cheap LEDs, but it's a bit, it's a bit frustrating. If anyone's got any ideas on what I can do to solve that, I'm all ears. I don't say just disconnect one, not an option. Anyway, one bracket, gonna let that dry. Tomorrow, I'll get the timer mounted onto it, get it screwed into place, and that's another job ticked off. Later that same evening. So, the paintwork is dry. I have sucked some Velcro onto that. I've also Velcroed the back of the timer. I do not know how this thing works yet. <laughs> I really need to figure out how this works. Don't know yet. Restart, restart, restart. Right, they are now all set, ready to go. That's what I'd probably have up on a race distance. Anyway, I digress. Let's get this fitted. No idea where I'm going to put this. Do, 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 do. do you all sit there? Do you all sit there? That'll have to do. Kind of the best I'm going to get right now. Second one. One, two, and one timer. I want to get this right because I'm slightly obsessive about these things. One timer, just gonna push that nice and firm. Right, done. That's now gonna start going off, isn't it? Stop. Timer two, stop. There we go, it's all off. So, one triple picking timer mounted. Quite looking forward to seeing how that uh, works out this season. Right, so the idea of this, if this wasn't clear, is so I've got a really good idea of exactly how long is left in the race, how long until the pit window closes, and when I stop, exactly how long I've been stopped for. Now the steering wheel button that I did previously, button, the steering wheel timer that I did worked, but what I found is when I was twiddling, twiddling my hands in one of my many sideways moments at Donington, I actually knocked the timer and started it. So I had to, uh, so battery died. No, battery hasn't died. So I've got to come up with something else. Never touch a solo, but that I did knock a few times. So that is not a keeper on the wheel. However, this, this I think could be. So the idea here, so we can set the first timer, race distance, 45 minutes. We set the second timer, 30 minutes. That's when the pit window will shut in any race. Third timer is pit stop, one minute 30. So green flag lap coming up towards the start line. What I'll probably do is probably add another 10 seconds or something to these top two 
so I'll press it say the last corner of the green flag clap rather than but essentially heading round and go so those two start there that is then counting down any point in the race I can glance down I've got 45 minutes left of the race I've got 29 minutes till the pit window they'll keep going once I pull up into the pits hit my mark as soon as I stop bang hit go on the timer counts down a minute and 30 till I'm ready to go Obviously, this is all stuff that I could just be told over the radio, but 90% of our radio messages seem to be me asking these questions. So if it's just there at a glance, I'm not going to be asking for questions, I'm not going to be looking for the radio button to press, or distracted, and it's always there. So I guess there's just one little job left to do, and that is to ceremoniously chop this one off. Ta-da! Handy. I'm going to give this to the boys in the pits as a, a backup, but I really do quite like that. quite like the uh, the angle angled in towards me in the stereo blank. No, the stereo has finally gone. Do a nice little TPR graphic or something on there, couldn't I? I'm not going to use it for anything useful like gauges, obviously. Brief one this week guys, I hope you've liked the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks to uh, Chris at 2RM Motorsport for the heads up on the triple timer, and uh, otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.